Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Christmas Eve for the Collective. And that is any zodiac sign that may resonate with this reading. All right, Spirit will lead the way. How beautiful. <laughs> you are being guided at this time. Collective, what do we got? the truth, reclaiming power and rules of the game. So you may be reclaiming your power because you already know the truth. <laughs> You've already been led away from somebody here, I feel. Now, spirit may want you to help someone today, um, whether it's just taking out the dog to go pee for somebody or... Maybe uh, maybe somebody needs some money at the store. They're maybe a little short. And maybe you give them a, a few cents for them to get, not have to put things back. Yeah, look at that. Passionate nurturing union. Oh, my God. Oh, and the real truth will be revealed. Align with your spiritual strength. So definitely something is coming to light here. This truth is going to give you back your power that... You know, and you're going to feel like, um, I get this feeling like you, uh, uh, how do I put that? Um, whatever truth you end up getting or finding out, it's going to lead you in a completely different direction. And you're going to feel really good about this because you're going to be able to close off the end of this new moon and this new moon is on the 23rd and Christmas Eve is on the 24th and I feel like with this new moon this is a new beginning to to closing out any things that you had in the past that you may have let go of and this is going to start a new cycle for you and you're going to have boundaries <laughs> nice and maybe that was part of the problem in your last relationship, maybe you didn't have enough boundaries, or maybe you're not sure how to put boundaries in place. It has to do with your boundaries and letting people walk all over you. You need to stand up for yourself and call people out when they do things like that, or say something at the time that it happens so they know that you know, or that you're not buying what they're putting out. Okay, so... And you can say things like that. Look, I'm not buying what you're saying here. I don't, I'm not sure I believe that. Um, or whatever you need to say. And you're going to have those boundaries put in place. You're going to be feeling balanced, centered, and in the flow to receive, I feel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's Christmas time. All right. So... Let's see. <laughs> I'm liking this. Now I'm sure everybody has their uh, <laughs> New Year's resolutions that they want to put into place this year. I'm maybe not thinking about them just yet. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Um, deciding that maybe you're going to give up on some something addictive or cravings or something along those lines I feel like you're going to um, definitely let go of certain things here yeah <laughs> look at that <laughs> yeah you're moving forward you are accepting things as they are let's see what do we have Ooh, page of wands so let's see oh my goodness so the page of wands is wow maybe having some growth maybe we've learned some things there's some type of passionate news or some type of maybe you're moving or hmm you're looking at moving forward to grow your finances possibly Maybe increasing those pentacles. Mm, we have a king of pentacles here. Hmm. Could be obsessed with you. He could also be 
having some financial loss here. Let's see, he may not be doing as well. Yeah, whatever he's got going on here, um, there's no cooperation, team, team players or team teammates. There's something to do with something not working. Oh, wow, 10 of pentacles, holy hell. Okay, so somebody's not cooperating when it comes to these 10 of pentacles. They may be overloaded with things like exhausted and just just so much going on so much that maybe it collapses it could be some dark secret this could be something that is really burdening this king of pentacles he might mm, he does not I feel like he doesn't want you to fall in love with someone else. Maybe there's love here for you. Or maybe there's a love of pentacles. Let's see. What's the last uh, temperance? You may be an earth angel here. You may be an earth sign. And you are in the flow, I feel. Like you are progressing to where you need to be. You are, I feel like you're in your purpose. You may be doing something that you were meant to be doing. Hmm, justice in the reverse. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> uh, something is unfair, unbalanced here. And I kind of feel like this is where you're going to find that balance. Okay, you're going to reclaim your power. Spirit's leading you to where you need to be. Maybe even uh, with this other person. So even though you're moving forward... I don't really feel confusion here. I feel like you have a lot of options. And maybe this King of Pentacles knows this. Maybe he knows somebody's coming. Page of Wands now in reverse. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, all right. So somebody might be impatient, maybe has emotional trauma they're needing to do. They may be confused after all. Even though they're moving forward, there may not be any clarity here. Hmm. I'm not sure how to take this because it seems to be right on the fence here. So something is meant to end, I feel. Somebody's looking at ending something here. Maybe a financial matter. Maybe something that was long term. Yeah, walking away. Wow. Okay. So it's definitely somebody's walking away. Maybe the walk of shame even. What is this King of Pentacles in reverse, please? Let's clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Now, even though he might be losing money and maybe obsessed with loving you, maybe you're the love of his life. Let's see, why is he upset though and obsessing? Uh, you might he might feel that it's too risky coming forward to you to take that leap of faith that you may not cooperate you may not be a team player you may not want him on your team <laughs> you might feel that it's all about the pentacles for him because he's losing money right now what do we got mm. wow you're getting good luck you're getting the ten of pentacles wow Holy hell. Wow, things have turned in your favor. What is this Ten of Wands in reverse, please, for the collective? Ooh, Queen of Wands. So this King of Pentacles here, it's telling me that he's connected here with somebody that is exhausting him, that is just too much. Um, I feel like kind of uh, somebody that... Maybe it's a trauma bond. I'm kind of feeling with that emotional trauma here um, with the Ten of Wands, this dark secret or whatever it is here, um, this collapse or whatever's being hidden here. This Queen of Wands may know about. Maybe holding it over this other person, this King of Pentacles. He may have thought this Queen of Wands was the love of his life. He may have been there with her for the pentacles or she was with him for the pentacles. 
What is this love? Uh, so you may be coming out of some type of betrayal or he is. If you are this king of pentacles in reverse here, masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. It's energy that I'm picking up. Put yourself where you fit in this situation. We have the eight of wands. Somebody's coming forward to this earth angel. Could be um, pushing forward maybe a proposal. Could be uh, envy. Could be, let's see, what's the eight of wands? Give me another card for the eight of wands, please. Eight of swords in reverse. Okay. <laughs> So somebody is facing their fears. Karma is ending for this person. Wow, that's amazing. The moon, yes, things are definitely coming to light here. Somebody is seeing exactly what they needed to see here. Somebody was really trying to confuse this King of Pentacles here. With the king or the um, page of wands first in the <laughs> upright and then in the reverse, um, I feel like this person may have news about some trauma that they had or wanting to speak of this maybe to you. Maybe not wanting a long term anything here or walking away from an investment may even be a person that he's invested time with. And it looks like there's love here when it comes to this King of Pentacles. Let's get another deck. I just wanna clarify a couple things that are still on the table and I'll do a new deck because then that way we get a more broader sense of what's going on here. Okay, so I want to know about this King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. What's this Two of Cups with the King of Pentacles? Okay, so the hangman may have a different perspective of things. Maybe that they, huh. I kind of feel like I'm not gonna make a decision quickly. I'm gonna take my time to make a decision. I'm not going to rush my decision about a queen of cups, a sweetheart, somebody that is loving, nurturing, and emotionally available, somebody that is caring, and wow, seven of swords in reverse. Okay, so somebody's getting caught. There may be a confession here, and that might be why this queen of cups, if this is you, you may feel this is too risky. They didn't cooperate. They did nothing but go up against what you were trying to do and try to stop you from doing it. Maybe you have something you're doing um, on social media or maybe you have a platform, maybe you're a tarot reader. I know there's um, a scenario here about a tarot reader as well um, that I've been picking up on for some of the readings. What is this fool here and this cooperation not wanting to take this this fool in reverse why is that here knight of swords okay so somebody might be reckless aggressive even vicious when it comes to you and maybe really angry at you here that maybe you're getting these ten of pentacles what is this ten of pentacles and wheel of fortune about then Ooh, ace of cups so this might just no love here so you may not have anyone coming in for you or there's no love here when it comes to this queen of wands why is the ace of cups in reverse why is the ace of cups in reverse yeah somebody may not have the strength here um maybe overpowered by this person maybe getting abused even i feel Six of Wands, really? Okay. So somebody's had a major ego hit here. I feel like there's no reward. They're realizing 
this was a failure. This was something they missed out on, I feel. Oh, wow. Okay. So this person's realizing they could have had that love with you, this Ten of Pentacles, the whole shebang. And Spirit may even have told this person that has these Ten of Pentacles about somebody coming in that was supposed to go with you on this journey, but they were doing some shady behavior here, I feel at one point and that they ruined it for themselves now it's it's all about an ego hit getting um the realization about this queen of cups that maybe this queen of cups said i'm not your person and that could have been spirit lying to this queen of cups to have this person walk away from you because they're not doing the work. They didn't want to do the work. I feel like they didn't want to, to change anything. They liked their life the way it was. They had prayed for this queen of cups and when she came in, man, they took a different, they, they self-sabotaged. They self-sabotaged this connection by going back to this queen of wands instead of this queen of cups it meant was meant to play out like this because now this is being revealed to this person that you could have had all these things with this person had you done the work and you didn't want to do the work yeah <laughs> yeah there's regret even wanting a reconciliation here but i have a feeling that too much was done. They're already over it. They're already over this love. There's no more love here. Either for this Queen of Wands or for this Queen of Cups. And with the Eight of Swords in reverse, I feel like they are starting to face the fears. They're realizing what needs to be done. And the karma is going to end if they do the work. Seven of Cups in reverse now. Wow. So this is an end of illusions. This is clarity. They know what they need to do now. And uh, I have a feeling um, they only have until the end of autumn. And that's going to be very quickly. They may have even missed it. I'd have to look on my calendar to see when winter starts. I think it may have already started. This person might be too late. Or they're running out of time and this clock is ticking. Wow. They are realizing some things here, definitely. And something is being revealed. And they may have to confess something here to have things turn around in their favor. Wow. There is a passionate nurturing union though, and I feel like you have the power to say yes or no to this love. Let's do some love cards here for the collective, please. For the New Year's Eve reading. What's gonna happen on New Year's Eve? This person's starting to come into these realizations here. Cupid's arrow, having faith, love is coming. And I feel like this Queen of Cups, if this is you, I feel like you you know that this is happening. This is coming. This person's learning something. You may not know this person even. Oh, here. Okay. That's a lot. But we'll take them anyway. Okay. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. I feel like there may um, have been a great start to this. And then somebody was gaslighting and walking away from somebody because they could tell. I feel like they're not going to deal with this. Avoiding a conversation. This Queen of Cups may be a ghosted. 
this person because they knew what there was going on. I feel like they were picking on it up intuitively, even though the um, the high priestess isn't here, but I still feel like this queen of cups already knew. Awaiting a message, text, call, email. Now, this person may try to reach out or want to talk. You may have blocked them, I feel. They may not have any way of communicating with you. Mm, this may be a twin flame. The yin to your yang, the zen, the balance, the union, duality, the couple. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. So this person from their past here, this Queen of Wands, may be trying to get this person to reminisce with them so they feel like it's more important to be with somebody you know better. But really, I don't feel like this person actually realizes what this Queen of Wands is really about. She's got a temper on her, and she is definitely domineering and even revengeful, I feel. May even try to take revenge on this love. I mean, sh the, you're coming out of this betrayal or you know about this betrayal and you're already healed it. I feel like you're already over it. Um, let's see here. You may have even let this person go. Yeah, they're gonna try to seduce you with this love card here and everything is fine. They may have been hurt by this Queen of Wands, or this could be this Queen of Cups. And it may even be this masculine that is dealing with this, this King of Pentacles in reverse. This person from the past may have always come back by reminiscing um, about memories and then trying to get them in bed. So as a way of keeping this person from coming towards you but they're still their karma's ending they may be sad about a breakup maybe with this queen of pentacles or i mean this queen of wands in reverse i feel like this person may have broke their heart yeah they're actually they're the enemy they wanted to get back at them they did not want this union to come together yeah, many options, decisions, stringing along, one night stand, and this person is the enemy. So really, this King of Pentacles in reverse, he's angry. Uh, he was sleeping with the enemy, and that's what this Queen of Wands, okay? So this Queen of Cups here is a sweetheart. She didn't do anything to deserve what she got here. I don't feel, and this masculine may even have used this Queen of Cups to upset this Queen of Wands to make her jealous. There's a twin flame union here though. Things you guys were supposed to do together to create this Ten of Pentacles together. And I feel like this Queen of Cups is on her purpose and she's already started on this without this other person. Because they're still doing some work here and then they're, they're in karma until they're not, which is coming up here. This karma starts to end here. Wow. Wow. This is pretty powerful reading. I feel like you're definitely going to have some boundaries here in this passionate, nurturing union. Maybe you've talked with this person, but I don't know if you actually had a relationship where you actually got to know this person on a different level. This may be even somebody you don't know. Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, wants to make new memories. Now, this could be a past person, or this could be somebody coming in from, that maybe has seen you on social media. Maybe you have your own platform and your own videos. Maybe you're an influencer. But in any case, this person is seeing what they were meant to see. This was something spirit has orchestrated and had this revealed, okay? The real truth is revealed, aligned with your spiritual strength. And I feel like this person is maybe wasn't into spirituality until 
Maybe you started talking with this person. Maybe they looked into spirituality and really liked your vibe or really liked your light. Wow. Twin flame union. That's crazy because that's really hard. They can be very hard. Um, this is where you will see and break patterns with each other. You'll both be able to see the patterns that need to be broken, maybe where boundaries need to be put into place. And the communication may be different this time around. And there may be one didn't know what they wanted, whereas the other one did. And that may have been why they couldn't get on the same page. Maybe they didn't share the same beliefs when it came to spirituality or they were mirroring each other and maybe it wasn't a good look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but let's look at the romance angels here because of this twin flame union. I want to see kind of what happens here. What happens with this union? Can I get some cards for the collective for the New Year's Eve union? What is that? Oh my goodness, I have a card in here that does not belong. Oh my goodness, it is over. There's no second chances. You are being led away from this person. Wow, the Grim Reaper. <laughs> this is going to... This is going to kickstart this masculine into a new cycle. Now, he's either going to have to relive this karma, but the karma is ending for them or ending for you. Take it how it resonates. And I feel like this is not going to happen. This is something that has to be left behind. I feel like there's someone new coming in here a new passionate nurturing union and it's going to feel really great it may be a high level soulmate which is an easy best friend soul family deep warm safe and comfy kind of union somebody you feel like you've known your whole life or known before a really deep soul connection i'm feeling yeah retreat when you meet this person you're not going to want to share them with anyone you're going to want to hide away with them not tell anyone because you don't want anyone coming in on your happiness keep an open mind so maybe this person isn't somebody you would normally go for Maybe in the past, maybe you didn't go for the muscle-bound guy because maybe they were so full of themselves, but maybe this person is different. Let your friends help you. So you may need to ask your friends to help you get to where you need to be or for support when it came to a union here. Okay, so there may be children involved. Maybe you have adult children if you're older or you have children that are younger. Wow, codependency. So it looks like there may be some codependency here, maybe some addictions or something that's affecting a romance here. Maybe that's preventing this from coming in. This is a soulmate connection. So uh, the next person I feel you come into this passionate nurturing, nurturing union is going to be a high level soulmate here. One or both have addictions here. Either you or your person has some form of addiction. Could be drugs. It could be drinking. But this person's definitely worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. You are being guided, which is also we knew because of this card here. Spirit will lead the way. Let's see here. Ah, this is coming in very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes into you now. And if you're looking for a new person, wow, okay. So maybe this person that you meet is, in, is more religious than they are spiritual, but I feel like you will find a way to make this work because you will be going on your honeymoon. <laughs> so I feel like the boundaries that you have in place with this person, they may have children, which is, um, I feel like is going to be fine. You're, you're fine with blending family or however this works for you. 
you're going to enjoy a holiday together and you may even have a honeymoon here. You may even get married to this person because this is such a passionate, nurturing union. You're going to have your boundaries in place. Everything's going to align. You're going to have your power and you're going to be true to yourself. And I feel like the other person is pretty much on the same page as you are. I feel like you're like two peas in a pod. Uh, <laughs> and in the flow, this person may be spiritual as well or want to look into spirituality with you, maybe sit and meditate with you so you are able to connect with your higher selves and able to really connect just having that quiet space and connecting with each other in this meditation of just that powerful quiet that powerful feeling of connecting without actually having to say anything. Wow. I really like this reading for you, Collective. So let's get one more card here. Forgiveness. There may be some forgiveness that you need for this past person in order for this new person to come in. Let's get one card here. Well, we got a twofer. <laughs> we have windfall. Hello. <laughs> and this is an end of an era. This is awesome because I feel like you've passed a test here by calling in a new person after what you went through with this other person that had things so unfair here. You found out what they were really doing and it may have hurt you and you may have had to heal because of that but this is going to enforce these boundaries that you're going to have or need and feel necessary you aren't just going to throw yourself out there um, without some kind of structure behind it maybe you gave too much of yourself to others maybe people walked all over you in the past and maybe now is the time that you're going to start standing up for yourself and not let that happen anymore and just say hey <laughs> up yours buddy you know and maybe you don't believe this person or maybe you're just going to say how you're feeling in a respectful way of course you're not just gonna you know, try to hurt this person because that's not what this is about, right? This is more about forgiving and loving that person and praying for that person that things will work out for them regardless of what they've done to you because you have forgiven them for yourself. You've talked to spirit. You've talked to God or whoever you deem as your higher up um, as spirit, okay? So you're going to... I feel um, really evolve here uh, and leaving all of that crap behind you. I feel like you're really going to cut things out of your life that are not meant for you. You're going to walk the walk of what spirit is looking for. And I, I really get a good feeling with this reading. Oh, and you may even be self-employed and getting this windfall all on your own. This person that comes in is going to help you, I feel. This is something you need to clearly decide, okay? This person to come in and you need to call them in. Call in your soulmate. Call in this person because they are going through something here. So divine timing is going to have this all come together here. You're going to pass this test though. I feel you're going to do just fine and your wealth is going to increase. You're going to get that windfall. You're going to get that blessing because you passed your choice, passed the choice when it came to love and you did the right choice. So, and you may have been guided away from this person to begin with to see what they were doing to you. You knew what they were doing based on what spirit was telling you. And sure enough, that's what happened. And you've decided, no, no more second chances. Maybe you gave this person way more than they needed to be given. And that could be why you are deciding to call in a new person. You may have already done this and now you're... Um, manifesting is starting to come to fruition 
So, wow, this is so powerful. I'm really liking this for you. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great New Year, um, great uh, Christmas Eve. And uh, we will see you guys all next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And take care. Stay blessed. All right. Later.